The coronavirus has affected people all around the world. Because of it, there have been no sports in the United States from late March until June. Recently, sports have started back up. So let's take a look. We have Deirdre with the WNBA Finals, Emma with the NBA Finals, Joseph with the Stanley Cup Finals, and Grayson with the Premier League. Capping the 2020 WNBA Finals. The 2020 WNBA Finals showcased the team's Seattle Storm and the Las Vegas Aces. The Seattle Storm won the championship in Game 3. The leading scorer for this game was Brianna Stewart, scoring 26 points out of Seattle's 92, scoring almost a third of their points. The final score was 92 to 59 Seattle. Her second most ever in a WNBA final. The break. biggest point margin in a postseason game at 33 points. The finals are played by the Miami Heat and the Los Angeles Lakers over a course of six games, with the Lakers winning four out of the six games and in turn winning the championship. This was the first time the Lakers have won in the last decade, although it was their 17th overall championship win. Ron James of the Lakers finished off the sixth and final game of the championship with his 10th triple-double in a finals game and became MVP of the 2020 NBA season. Finally, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the late Kobe and Gianna Bryant, since Kobe would have loved to see his team win their first championship since 2010, and I'm sure that he and Gianna would have been right on the sidelines supporting their team. Hey, it's Joey from the Rogers Place inside the bubble here in Edmonton, Alberta. We are doing the, what are we doing? Ah, we're doing the Stanley Cup Finals. Whew, it's cold in the Rogers Place. Let's do the hockey. Okay, the Lightning have won their second Stanley Cup, their first since 2004. It was the best of seven series and they came out on top four games to two over the Dallas Stars. Defenseman Victor Hedman won the Conn Smythe Trophy for being the most valuable player in the NHL playoffs. That's how you do the hockey! This weekend, the Premier League did not play due to internationals. Some will talk about what happened last week. Liverpool, Champions to Europe, lost to Aston Villa 7-2. Not just that, but Manchester United scored within 30 seconds of the game and ended up losing 6-1 to to Tottenham. It's ridiculous. That's not even the worst part. Everton are leading the table with Aston Villa trailing. That is just shambles. <laughs>